What's going on, Coronado High School? I'm Mr. Vergara. And I'm Mr. Jurado. And we are here to tell you about She Kills Monsters, Coronado High School's first theater production of the year, directed by Martin Morales. What you have here with She Kills Monsters is a story written by Kui Nguyen that takes place in 1995, and it features Agnes Evans, who just lost her sister in a car accident, and so she's going through her things, comes across a Dungeons and Dragons manual, and this unfolds into an adventure that ping pongs between the real world and the D&D world, in what is really a metaphorical quest to discover the sister she never really knew. That's right. And this is a play that is a lot of fun. It's filled with all sorts of different genres uh -huh. from action to fantasy. It's very funny, uh, great actors, you know, and just a lot of fun to watch overall. Yeah, speak, uh, you talk about fun. I was laughing out loud the entire play and especially me having graduated in the mid 90s, which is obviously when this takes place. I loved all the 90s references from the costuming to the music to the slang. I love this play. That's right. And even though the play does contain some mature content, it is very culturally and thematically relevant, mm -hmm. I find, right. especially for a teenage audience. Right. And speaking of teenagers, the, I thought all the actors did very well. I mean, they lost a lot of seniors to graduation, but they have a nice troupe here. Uh, you look at the leads. I thought they brought tremendous energy. But like I said, the whole class, really good job. But enough of what we think, guys. How about we hear it from the director, Martin Morales, and the students themselves. I honestly loved it because it was a D and D play, and I'm a huge D and D fan. Also, um, the actors really committed into it, especially the fight scenes. I was really proud of how committed they were. There were several parts that made me really like laugh. Um, there was just a lot of like edgy humor that like like if, if they went if they kept on going with it, it could have gone too far. But they kept it just at the amount where like. It was good, you know? I really loved it. It was really surprising, uh, super hilarious. Uh, the fight scenes were pretty interesting. There's some tropes that like kept coming back, like Steve, who just kept getting killed, and it was absolutely hilarious. One thing that brought me here was um, I am friends with some of the cast members, and they thought it would be a good idea for me to come out and support them, and I'm really glad that I did, because I really enjoyed the show. I think it was really cool for them to put on a play that was LGBTQ inclusive, which is something that is popping up more now in our generation than ever, which I think is really rad. We had a couple of challenges and bumps in the road, but overall, uh, the students found a way to come together and uh, make a nice little show happen. I think She Kills Monsters finds that interesting balance of like, it has some bad words in it, but it's not serious and it, and it plays with it. And so uh, it lives in that little gray area of not be, being offensive, but not over the top offensive. We were ready to like bring it to the stage because it was really appealing towards all the high schoolers and all of the uh, teens that we have in our audience. And you know, it uses language that teens would use and uh, affects to the real problems that they face. For all the kids in the cast that hadn't played the game before, we got together and had a session of Dungeons and Dragons to get everyone accustomed to the game. And uh, everyone got to have a lot of fun. There were snacks and there was a lot of uh, goofing off. And it was just more to build like the, the essence of what kids like did when they played D&D like, all that time ago. Uh, Mr. Martin did a really good job on getting this new group of younger actors situated in what the what Florida Auto Theater is going to be. And I'm graduating this year, but I can't wait to see what, what other plays come out. I thought the play was amazing. You know, all of us, we put so much time, so much energy into making this play, and to see it come out the way it did, you know, the reactions we got, it's really rewarding, and I'm really proud of it. 